Hello there, Internet. Version 2 here. With Banjo-Kazooie. Hey, it's Rare. Back in the day when they made video games. It's Banjo-Kazooie. And as you can probably already tell by the graphical quality, I haven't turned up my phone to silent. But also... It's on the 360, which is just a weird thing about the reality of how things... Yeah! Okay, I, I don't even know who that is. I didn't realize there was a female bear. So they're all just fighting over their instruments. And yeah, so the, so the name's Banjo Kazooie in the intro. Like, oh, when I saw the, the, the thing in the Smash trailer of them having the Banjo Kazooie, I thought that was just a good thing. Didn't realize they actually were playing the instruments in the intro, and that was the bit. I mean, the names are so cool. I, I, I saw them, they, they, they work really well. So, your, your xylophone and flute. If their names aren't xylophone and flute, I'm gonna be mad pissed. Um. <laughs> Immediately coming. That, that, that's awesome. Banjo Kazooie! Hey! Microsoft Corporation! All rights reserved. Uh, 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 corporate ownership and copyright laws are fucking bizarre, aren't they? Um, I mean, I guess they own Rare, but still fucking bizarre. Um, Banjo Kazooie! A game that a lot of people love! And, um, like, I, I, I'll be honest, I mean, you can probably tell by the title, this is a blind LP, I've never played this game before, um, I never actually grew up with a 64, it was one of the console generations that I just, well I didn't miss the entire generation, I had a Playstation 1, but it was just a console that I entirely missed, I never had one, I didn't have a NES or 64, they're the only Nintendo ones I've missed on, um, so you like, your 64s, Ocarina of Times, I didn't play those until they came out in handheld ones, um, I've played Conqueror at a friend's house, like, on a 64, um, like, ages ago. What is this gross n grossness that Banjo's in right now? Okay, um, gross. Didn't realize this game had as much gross going on as it does. Um, so hey, this is just a game that I completely missed, and I've, like, deliberately not played it for a while, um, like, for a long time, because I've, I've wanted to do an LP of it for ages, like, it, it's just... Hey, it's a platformer, collector for and, um, and it's one of the ones that I missed, so it'd be fun for a, a blind thing for it, hopefully. Um, and I just never got around to it, partially because I was waiting to get Xbox One for Rare Replay. Then I realized it was actually on the 360, and I still never did it. But now that Banjo's coming to Smash, it's just like, well, now I gotta. Now I gotta do it. So, uh, yes, Banjo coming to Smash is the main reason that I'm fucking doing this, because holy shit, Banjo Kazooie is coming to Smash Brothers. That's fucking nuts. Corporate ownership is a weird thing. Um, so, this is the reason I'm doing this now. It's, it's weird because it's a game that I know a bunch about in very completely unconnected weird things. Like, I know what, the, I know how they defeat Grunty at the end of the game. I mean, especially now, considering it's literally the fucking final Smash of Banjo. But, like, I knew about that beforehand. I, um, the, 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 what's the, the soldier dude who teaches you the moves? I, like, I, 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 I know him, the, <laughs> although that may be Tui. That may be this one, that may be Tui. I don't know. But, <coughs> pardon me for the coughing. Um, so there might be weird, the weird things. Is this the game? Or is it, again, the next one that has, like, the giant turtle or the crocodile that, like, you go inside of? Is that what we were, uh, maybe what we were looking at there, actually, the gross thing? I don't, I don't know. But there's, uh, there's the, the, the giant Christmas tree and one levels. Like, I know these random weird little things uh, uh, across all of it, but I've never actually played the games themselves, and I've never watched a playthrough of the games themselves. It's just these tiny little weird details that I know across from it. So, fuck it! We're gonna play, actually. Go, go, let, let, let's just check. Let's just check any settings. Go, uh, how to play controls. Um, look around, uh, uh, it's jump, attack, B is not even used. Crouch, follow camera, okay. Seems pretty simple controls. Uh, settings. Um, oh, just music and sound. All right, that, that's fine. Also, is this? 
That's a, that's a neat touch, making the sounds of the different characters as you go through there. Achievements, because that's a thing. Oh, I'm going to need you to tell me right now. How the fuck? What's swap? Stop and swap. How the fuck does that work? Do I need to load, load up Tui while playing this? Is it once I've been Tui, I need to do something with this? It says that it was reinstated in this, and it's a thing I've heard about for years, and I have no idea what the fuck it is. People will need to tell me how to do that and how to make that work, because apparently it's a thing. Um, being a collector that I'm going to want to 100% it, I'm not promising right now that this is going to be a 100% LP, but I am going to definitely fucking try because it's a, it's a collective on platform. I just like 100%ing those games. I think they're good games for 100%. Also, I have to ask, why is there two banjos on screen right now? Try, try, press the right trigger to erase it. Oh, oh. Oh, the different games, that, the different parts around the house, the different save icons. Another very neat touch. I'm on a fucking 360, and that's just the original Game Boy. With Donkey Kong Land sound effects. But like an 8 bit version of the intro music. But that's the sound of barrels bouncing and bananas collecting from Donkey Kong Land. And that's just you cooking with some music in the background. I gotta say immediately, like this is a this is a nice menu. I like the sound effects of that. The the font is a bit big for the top there that you can't show it all at once. The different sound effects are doing that. Oh, they worked out when I did that. Yay! That is a smoggy fucking castle. Is this Grunty's castle? They live like next door to Grunty. I feel like they should just move. Like, isn't it, like, isn't it one side of Spiral Mountain's their house, the other side of Spiral Mountain's Grunty's house? Hi, Grunty. Dingpot, Dingpot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. Cough. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. With her picking her nose just to accentuate her, her ugliness because she's a witch. And because women are only judged by their aesthetics. <laughs> what? What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. I appreciate the rhyme scheme. The syllables seem to be different. Why is the tired small? She's the prettiest girl of all. No, no, no. You must be mad. That's a beauty cannot be had. I, I appreciate the rhyming. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tooty. She's cute and kind. So her name's not Flute or Flutey. It's Tooty. All right. Is the... Well, we'll see about that. Oh, she's too mad, she can't even rhyme. Is the impetus for this game that she's just mad that there's a prettier girl than her, so she, I'm presuming, fucking kidnaps her? Damn, Grunty. You have some self-esteem issues to work on. Hi, Tootie. Hi, I don't know your name. Hi there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? <laughs> when my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure! Yay! Adventure! Just also noticing how similar she looks to Tiny Kong. And hey, Rareware, you're kind of falling into a little pattern here. I mean, even Banjo, like, has aesthetic similarities to Donkey. Although Kazooie's completely unique. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too! I, re I also really like the way she thinks she's prettier than me. I'll steal her looks. And ugly she'll be- Oh no, you're just gonna curse her to be ugly? Alright. Is that your brother? Where? Mr. Mole? I can't see him. The one flying in the sky on a broom? Up there in the sky. I don't think so. Who is that? I don't know, maybe the woman who lives in the house that it's her fucking face? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Let me go, you ugly old hag. Okay. This is actually the story, huh? Don't scratch and bite my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. Oh, they're going to make a fat too to be ugly. Man, this is a game from the early 2000s. <laughs> Banjo, wake up. Ow. Oh, Benjo actually talks. Oh, I thought Benjo was silent. What do you want, Kazooie? Oh, I thought, I thought Kazooie did all the talking. I didn't realize Benjo actually talked. 
I, I was saying before, uh, for, before I was doing the characters' voices, I like the, I, I really like the way I, 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 I they, like, I really like the way in this where, um, like, the characters aren't voiced, but they've got the, like, they've got those sounds but that are very, very distinctly for each character that are their own sounds. Anyway, hey, it's Banjo! We've got some trash here. How do I, I, I don't have an attack option yet. I, I do have a duck though, which makes me slide really fucking far. Hi, Mr. Mole. What's up, buddy? It's amazing how polygonal this game looks, and it's very clear. It's just like, it is super, 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 super fucking polygons and like, low texture, but it still like, looks so cool. It still looks all right. Sure is strange looking bloody banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, goggle boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister gone to? Where's my sister Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? Man, everyone's just insulting everyone with every sentence. She flew up to a mountain lair. It's really dangerous. So you'll probably need some training before you go up there. I was just gonna build the training area from 64. Was this game made before DK64? I don't even know. I actually have no idea. Was this game made before DK64 or not? I have no idea of the timeline of that. Press A to learn my moves or B to start right, right away. I want to learn moves. We'd like some help, Bottles. What do we need? What's an, what's an insulting nickname and what's an actual name? I want to say Bottles is the actual name. Because... Goggle Boy and Mr. Mole sound insulting, but Bottles, I can't think of a way that that's actually meant to be insulting you. Find another mole hill and press X. I'll speak to you there. Okay, not here. Fine. Fine. Also noticing that the dialogue just goes and, and it doesn't stop. Um. Wow, that is a... That is a tiny ass fucking jump. <laughs> that is a really tiny jump for a platformer. Whoa! Is that because I was on top of it that I got that back? Anyone home? Hello again. Let's start with the camera controls. They're on the right stick. Jeez, that's nothing special. Try this then, Beaky. Tap the right or left bumper to move the camera behind Benjo. Is that all worm breath? They are really insulting each other a lot. Hold the right or left bumper to keep the camera behind your feathery butt. Try it out. I'll see you at the next mole hill. So if I just do that, it just stays there. Okay. Will be useful if I need to like walk in a straight line. Okay. Well, I see. A thing over there. Hello. Hmm. Your jump could do with some help. Ha! What do moles know about jumping? More than you. Press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. Come on, feathers. You can give him a hand. Why? Oh, look silly. I know it. <laughs> jump, then press A again in the air for a We're starting with a double jump. Oh, we're starting with a double jump. Oh, this game's immediately the best fucking platformer ever. It's not something you have to unlock. Not until you learn this one. First, you must stand like this. What? Wearing ridiculous glasses and a silly grin? Not listening. Hold the right or left trigger. Then press A for the mighty flat flip jump. Oh, okay. Big jump if you cr crash up. Okay. That's all the jumps. Keep practicing. Okay. So yeah, if you just tap jump, it is a very, very small jump, but holding it, you get a bit... That's a long hang time, jeez, damn, okay. So, whee! Oh, you're starting with a double jump, I love this game immediately already. Okay, well... Er, 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 okay. Flat flip! Okay. I'm feeling it, honey, uh, honeycomb. I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. Oh, okay. We increase our max health by getting that. Okay. We've got some water there. Flowers and things that I can walk through. Also, just the very, very rare way thing, which this game may have started, of everything having eyes. All right, what do we got here? Hello. I feel like this beginning area is just giving us a shitload of moves. I'm, I'm, I appreciate this. 
It's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. What is it? Is it my neutral A combo? Is it my jab combo? Press X while, uh, while standing still or slowly moving. What can I try it out on? How about bird brain? Just try it, bottle boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. A carrot. There's Topper. Whack him, Banjo. Hello. Hi. Okay, so... Oh, okay, okay. So, moving, I can't do it, but... Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Attacking things is a bit awkward, because you got to stand still first. Now try my fierce and forward roll. I want to learn to fly now. <laughs> roll by roll. Okay. I'll find if I can find ball for you to practice on. Oh, oh, ah, you landed on me, you bastard. So, uh, okay, so I have a moving attack too. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I have a combo. <laughs> My sense still. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Ugh. Ugh, sorry, just gotta have a des desperate neighbor drink. Stop rolling, I feel sick. Uh oh. Oh. I thought I was gonna fall in somewhere there. Ah, okay, so I can roll into. So a moving attack moves me a lot. Important to know. It's time for the buzzard to learn a trick. Yay! It had better be a good one, Squinty. <laughs> They're so insulting to each other. Try the rat attack rap by press, uh, jumping and pressing X in the air. Now where's Collie Wobble? Uh, okay. Hey, I saw that move in the trailer. The Smash trailer. Yeah, okay. So we have aerial attacks too. There's a lot of animations here. Bam, bam, bam. It's like three different types of attacks it's very quickly. You've learned all the basic attacks now. See you around. Bah, bah, bah. Yeah. I have three different types of attack. It's kind of nuts, honestly. Oh. Got you. Okay, so, okay, so I have five health bars currently. Mmm, I'm sticky, tasty, honey energy. <laughs> Hello, a giant rocks. Oh, uh, my big budge attack needs the help of old chicken legs. At least I've got some like short stuff. It's so mean to each other. Hold the right or left trigger, then press X for a powerful biggie budge. Uh, okay, I have another type of attack. She is useful for something. I'm trying this move out on you next, Jam Jaws. Urgh, okay, so I can break big things by going BAM! Isn't that one of the attacks in the trailer too? Although that had like gold feathers over it. And like used one of them. Oh, so I'm gonna assume we're gonna get an extra health by doing the tutorial. Well, that's an incentive to do tutorial. Glad I didn't skip it. Also, just the amount of different attacks. I'm glad I didn't skip it. Can I climb trees? Climb trees is not a thing, but that's a thing! How do I dive? How do I dive? I am currently unable to dive. Or at least it seems so. I want to learn how to dive. I saw a thing there. Hi, Cauliflower. Are you trying to attack me? I don't know if you are, but I'm going to still attack you, just to make sure. Hello! Teach me how to dive. Hey, Benjo! I hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not. You're a bird. Tell me about flying, root muncher. That's... Being in Australia, that's a very different thing. Jump into a tree. Uh, I can climb trees. I just had to learn how to climb a tree. Okay. Yay! Oh, I just stand on top of the tree. Nice. Okay. Ah, and there's another honeycomb piece over there. Yay! I did it! I did it! Hello, how are you? Bam! That feels that 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 feels like a main one to use. Brr! <laughs> Hello. What's that next move? I, I still don't know which is your name. Fancy like yes I do. Ooh, sounds difficult. And I'll get my fur wet. Come on, banjo. I wanna swim. 
Spill the we did the the bird wants to swim more than the bear. Alright, use the left stick to swim on the surface. To swim underwater, press X to dive. Go on and give it a try. It is amazing how many moves we're getting right at the beginning of the game. You learned all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the spiral mountain. And I'll tell you what to do next. Okay. I assume the whole, like, a big part of the game is learning different moves and stuff like that. If it's anything like what 64 was. Oh, God. <coughs> Pro to kick legs. Okay. Okay. How do you, how are you using your wings to do that? That I don't understand. So I can, so I can kick with my legs here and go fast, like, with this. Okay. Okay. Slight movements, big movements. Got it. I did that area. That's the house. That's up there. I don't have a full extra health, though. I'm going to get a full extra health before I go in, though. Yeah. Nice rolling attack. Oh, oh. I'm on full health, aren't I? I don't need any more health. Look at our lives over there. Big happy faces. Yeah. Okay. Double jump goodness. Uh oh. Oh, can I make it? Hell yeah, I can. And there's... Hey! Okay, I did it. Oh, I'm gonna get the trophy though. Yeah! Oh, that's an extra life. <laughs> Look out for me. I'm an extra life. Wee. Yeah. Nothing hide in there. Well, I got, I got an extra health and I got an extra life. I'm gonna guess that's gonna be everything. It looks like it. It looks like that's everything. I think I've gone to all the places. Hey, we're learning how to play banjo. It's a lot of moves to start with. Like, I know this is often held up as one of, if not the best 3D platformer out there. Well, Tui, but... Should it be more for, uh, Kazoo um, Kazooie or Tui? I actually don't know. I have no fucking clue. But I know they're like frequently held up as like some of the best 3D platforms out there. Like collect upon star games, so. I'm ready to tackle the witch, hell yeah. We sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. I wanna say bottles is the actual name. I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, bottles. Banjo called him bottles. His name is probably bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. All right, and away we go. Can I first person it? I can. Yeah. Just, can I go up to the top of that at some point? Oh God, X and Y is inverted on that. That's fine. That's fine. I don't know if there's a way to undo that, so that's fine. Into Grunty's lair. Here we go. What? What? What is? What are you doing? What are you doing, Grunty? Oh, so it's just swapping your ages. Don't worry, it's ages and weight that make you ugly. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Glungo. Push, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Yes, Mistress Grunty. Power is on. Soon be ready. Benjo! Help! I'm just immediately agree with, with her face. There he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps. We'll see who wins. <laughs> Alright, well, is this 64? Do I jump into the painting? It's a very big painting. Jumping into the painting, don't do anything. Okay. I, I am immediately presented with multiple pathways. I am I immediately have choice paralysis. Jiggy! That I didn't recognize in the trailer. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. Yay! Jiggy! Jiggy! Yay! Alright. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess my decision's made for me. I can't go up there. I'm gonna go into the evil fucking mouth over here. To the nice little flower garden? I guess? Oh, well, there's a piece missing there. This is the first world, Mumbo's Mountain. To open the door, you'll need to find the jigsaw puzzle. So, 
Finishing jigsaw puzzles is how we. Br okay, so that, I, I was wondering, like, jiggies. Like, jiggies are a thing. Oh, it's because you're literally finishing puzzles. To enter the world chain, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. We've got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy. Great! To fill in the missing spaces on a picture, press A. If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, press B to leave. Hey! Yay! And now the door opens! Mumbo's Mountain is open! And it has like a big neon sign on it. That was such an easy fit, the others may just test your wit. And <laughs> Grunty just laughing at us. Alright, Mumbo's Mountain, here we go. Almost half an hour in and we're entering the first world. Hey! There are three new moves to learn in this world. That's a lot. Find my molehills and I'll explain. Alright, well, I see you here. Hello! That's a bit of crap out of you. Hello? Ginger! I know them! Wait. Uh, there's also that. Ginger! <laughs> you saved me! Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Gingos on each world. Three us all to get a jiggy. Whee! Music notes. I'm a note. Oh, they talk like me. <laughs> 100 in each world. Collect us to open the note doors. Okay, what about the skulls? Okay, Ikumbokum. Me Mumbo Soken, used for Mumbo Magic. Oh, I feel that's going to be racist. Um, <laughs> oh, hearing the Ikumbokum, the name Mumbo, Mumbo, um, and the broken English, I feel that is going to be a racist depiction of indigenous slash Native American culture. Awesome, we've got Aku Aku back in the game. Cool. Ah. Oh. The 90s slash 2000s. I'm trying to grab those. These music notes are like the most highly detailed things, that, like the best looking things in this game. <laughs> like graphics wise. Alright! God, they weren't fucking kidding when people say this is a collect a fun game. We've been, okay, you dive a little bit forward when you do that. We've been in the game for, we've been in this world for what, a couple seconds? We've introduced the three different collectibles and gotten two of one of them. A bunch of another one. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna. Swimming is inverted, but that's fine. I want to use the slow swim. Fast swim. I don't want to drown. Can I get it? Can I get it? There we go. Okay. Swimming doesn't feel great. This I will immediately say. I appreciate the like dynamic music switch between being in the water and out. The music's good. I mean... I feel like that's probably the least controversial thing I could possibly say about the game. It's fucking Grant Kirk open. Of course, the music's great. Hello! Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! You're, you are angry. Okay. Go away! Leave my honeycomb. Oh, you're a bee. Oh, wow! Okay. Three health. Okay. That gives me a lot of, a lot of health. I don't even need the other one. I'm going to let it disappear. Okay. Man, I'm a bee. Okay. You know what? I'll go. I'll go up the hill. Actually, I, I saw a jiggy over there. How how many of everything? So there's a hundred of these. There's five jingos. The kingdom of the crystal skulls. I don't know how many of those there are. What about honeycomb pieces? What about jiggies? Do we? Can I? Okay. There is also eggs, red feathers, gold feathers to collect in each world. Nothing here is showing me honeycomb pieces, though. Wait, view totals. Oh, feathers aren't here. Okay. Two honeycomb pieces, ten jiggies, a hundred notes, five jing um, jinjos for one of the um the jiggies. No, nothing about how many skulls are in each one. And I don't know what the egg, red feather, and gold slash yellow feather are. That's all right. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. I see a jiggy over there. Hello. I see these giant ants. We got ants and bulls. Okay. There's a door there. I, I just, there's immediately a lot of shit going on. I'm really a lot of things to do. Oh my god. I'm I'm sorry about the coughing. I'm a uh, my tonsillitis has swollen up real fucking bad at the moment. Like really bad, and it. it, it 
it's, it's not great. It's not great at all. Okay. Okay. I have little houses that I can jump on to get that. I see another crystal skull. There's a totem pillar there. Yeah, I feel this whole mumbo business is going to be some racist stuff, but that's... Well, it's not fine, but it's the 2000s, you know? We'll, we'll just consider it dated, you know? We'll just do that. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely, yeah. Yeah. Another one! You must search for ten of us on each world. Or if I had listened to another oh, couple seconds, I could have found that out. <laughs> we'll be progress through the Witcher Slayer. I am so sorry about the coughing. Oh my god. I have my, pro my problem with my tonsillitis is that I've had it since like I was eight years old. Get jiggy! Nah, 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 nah. Le uh, you go to the start area and sit on the exit pad. Oh, I'm, I'm not leaving yet. I got shit to do. I got red feathers. That's not giving me anything though. Whee! Oh! Oh! We juju! Mumbo's totem pole. Feed us with nice blue stones. Can I just jump up here and get the, the thing up there? No. It won't let me do that. There is also this. But I'll worry about that after I go into this house. It's like how they tried to do like indigenous stuff a lot in Crash Bandicoot. Even though like the way they did it is just, like completely divorced from what Aboriginal culture is. So I can't tell if it's just racist or stupid then. I need five skulls. Me Mumbo, best shaman in all game. Can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. It's definitely a racist thing. Watch out, hut boy. Mumbo's magic token. I'm just waiting for Banjo because we just say an actual slur. Find help. Okay. Banjo, not enough tokens for Mumbo magic. Look at sign. Bring more. Can I grab your notes that you're just holding onto here? Okay. Bye. I'll, 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 I'll come back. For you, for you to do like probably a fucking rain dance or something and just, just knowing what, what it is. And, okay. Hello. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air, then press the right or left trigger to send Kazooie slamming hard into the floor. Gulp. I don't like the sound of that, Banjo. <laughs> Get used to it, Nest Girl. You'll be using it a lot. I don't appreciate it. We've got moves here that seem to be for both of them, like... Ah, oh, shitload of notes. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Man, I am crushing this one already. 40 notes? Fuck yeah. Uh, like, so far, oh, like, a lot of the moves I've got. Oh, okay. Blue stones. Where are the eggs? Kazooie can learn to use us as ammo. Oh, okay. Your well, ammo. Got, got it. Bam. Oh, screw you. Oh, screw you. Screw you. Give me, your, give me the help. Thank you. But we get it. Like, we've got moves for both of them and they're functioning as a team. I like it. Ginger. Yay. 